so the point is, I guess, if you start here and then you say, well, actually, G is composed of x, com uh, 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 the valid values of x comma y are such and such. If G is equal to x plus y, we can actually get to um, from this the the probability um, the the from, from this probability uh, from this probability uh, I guess from this set of probabilities you can get what the value of um, what the what the density sorry what the probability mass function is for G uh, given given that would you I mean would you commonly use anything other than x plus y yeah you could use drive. Oh, it, it, I, I'm just picking a particular a particular function. Like it could have been x squared, it could have been y squared. I could have asked you. In other words, given this probability mass function, or given this I, I distribution, theoretically, you right. can do it with any function. I'm right. asking if, in reality, uh -huh. plotting a set of data points, uh -huh. you would be using things like x squared or y squared, or oh. you would commonly use x. Well, y. I think uh, the answer mm -hmm. is that. Um, you would, you would, in computing things like expectations and variances, do that, right? In other words, and I'll give you some examples. Like, um, if I think that two things are, um, like, I'll, I'll give you a particular example where it makes sense, where that's a useful tool to use. Mm -hmm. um, there are things like, um, I'll get, here's some examples. So, for example, I might say, um, uh, what's the, what's the error? Say I have two. Um, I guess that you'd call it the error between determine like you you'd try to figure out what the error between two things are, and you'd know one value and the other value, and you're trying to minimize the uh, root mean. I guess that that you're trying to minimize the total error uh, error that you could have in two, two the sum of two random variables, then or two variables. You're trying to figure that out. Um, you you might choose to do the expected value of x. Um, I guess x uh, plus y, you know, the errors, um, x squared plus y squared, and the, the square, square root of that. In other words, you're, you're trying to uh, minimize a certain error function. Mm -hmm. And that would be an example where, you, you know, I need to know, if I knew what x's probability mass function was and I knew what y's was, I'd expect you to be able to, I mean, you would expect yourself to be able to mm -hmm. derive what this is, mm -hmm. e whether they're dependent or independent. You'd hopefully expect to be able to do that. Um, so getting back to this over here, where we're trying to sum up the expected value of g, which is equal to the expected value of x plus y, given that um, g of g is you know, equal to g of x comma y. Um, I guess I guess the point is is that um, if we take take this definition and stick it into here. Um, your point over here was that, you know, over G, um, or we can just say G actually, of P of G of G0, um, that this is equal to um, G of X comma Y times G. Um, over um, of x comma y over x comma y and let's see um, so what we're doing is, is we've got the summation over x over the times the summation over y of g of x comma y times um, p of x comma y of x zero y zero. If if I then um, uh, put in the values of x comma x plus y, that's equal to. Uh, we can actually split this up, and you can see that it's over x of um, x. Sorry. Y of um, x times p of x comma y times x comma y plus um, the summation over x times the summation over y of uh, y times p of x comma y and um, 
One thing you'll note is that in this case, if I'm summing over y for this particular thing, x is independent of that, so you can pull that out. And same thing here, you can pull that out. And what you end up with is over y <clears throat> um, which again is you know this this summation is uh, you know uh, equal to you know by, by by what we were doing before x of um, p of x x0 plus summation over y over y of p of y of y0 because we're just taking a it's it's it, that's sort of by the definition of what we were, we were saying before about a derived distribution for x given um, x comma y and you're doing it over all possible y's and that's actually if you look at it is equal to the expected value of x plus the expected value of y so what that tells you is that, you know, this was done independent of what the probability mass functions were altogether. Didn't require that the probability mass functions were independent or anything. So basically, what this is saying is is that the expected value of x plus y is equal to the expected value of x plus the expected value of y. And uh, one thing that that tells you, for example, is that um, if I have well, actually, let's let's use this in a particular example where this makes sense. Uh, you just, uh, um, and that's if we had what's called a Bernoulli trial, which is um, the value of the function x is equal to one with probability p and zero with probability um, 1 minus p. So, um, so x. So, um, if you want to compute the expected value of x, that's equal to what? That's equal to um, 1 times p, right? Plus 0 times um, p, uh, p minus 1, right? or 1 minus p. So, so that's equal to p. Um, if I then told you that, that, that y equals, um, and this is basically flipping a coin, right? Um, if y equals x0, uh, if y of uh, x0 comma, I'll call it x1 and x2, x1 and x2 of um, Zero, one, and we'll use that set notation. Um, if two, if I said that I wanted the sum of two random variables where each random variable was two um, flips of of um, coins with the exact same kind of uh, descriptive distribution, then in fact um, this is equal to the expected value. So, so if this is equal to x one plus x Two, then the expected value of y, based on that before, is equal to the expected value of x1 plus the expected value of x2. And that's equal to what? 2p. 2p. People get that? Or? Okay, so that's equal to 2p. So, um, and what that's saying is the expected value of the sum of two um, flips of the coin given this function is 2 times p. Uh, it, it then goes follows from there that um, we could, for example, uh, do a different type of uh, interesting function, which is um, what's the expected value of x minus the expected value of x bar, or the um, expected value of x. So, um, and that's what we call the variance, which we talked a little bit. Is the expected value of x minus the 